Apple has released macOS Ventura Beta 5 to, to developers, and tomorrow they'll hopefully release it to public beta testers. And in this video, I'll be showing you what is new in macOS Ventura. Now, the first thing I like to test is the messages bug. So let's see if it has been fixed. Let me open up an alternate phone number right here. See, it came in on my phone and on my iPad at the same time and on my Mac, and now it is completely fixed. The settings has improved a lot. So these are now a lot smaller, so if I were to put them here, you could see that they are a lot more compact and we could see a lot more. These icons don't need to be really big, and we also have a new glyph icon for screensavers right here. Botlight suggestion seems to be a little bit more compact right here, and that seems about it. I looked through the entire system settings and it doesn't look like anything has changed, and it still looks pretty good in my opinion. Right away, before there seemed to have been a little lag in the weather app. A clock app seems so I ran a test alarm right here and it did go off unlike beta 4 where would, no alarms at all would go off. If we were to take a look at the share buttons right here all across macOS we now have more options. For example we now have the shortcuts button right here. And for video files with iCloud if we were to go into share as well. If we do anyone with the link we now have invite with link. This was not here before and at least it is now here and now not less annoying. So before I would say Listen for that, it would be like HU something and like weird placeholder text that has now been fixed in beta 5. We now have new splash screen for Find My, Photos, Maps, Voice Memos, and Music. Performance feels a lot better on Ventura Beta 5. Now let's see what Geekbench story says. Alright, Geekbench did tell us a story. So the single core is a little bit lower than Beta 4, but the multi-core is dramatically improved, like over 100 points. And if we take a look at macOS Monterey, let me pull that right here, we can see that macOS Ventura Beta 5 is somehow faster than macOS Monterey smooth release. That is really interesting to see right now. macOS Ventura Beta 5 on your main device. I say, maybe. We now have the messages bug fixed, which is a good thing. And clock seems to be coming in with alarms. I'll have a final answer for that tomorrow. macOS Ventura Beta 5 is indeed a lot better than Beta 4. And if you're already on Beta 4, I would definitely upgrade to Beta 5. It feels a lot better than Beta 3 was, and Beta 4 was, in my opinion, one of the buggiest macOS's I've ever tested. Those are all the changes I can find with macOS Ventura Beta 5. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share it with your friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Or, wait, Cameron loves me.